Okay, so here we go. Here's uh, one of the front struts out. I converted it using uh, using my uh, airbag or squeaky clean air airbag. Uh, I'm doing a leak test right now. Um, they usually leak on top over here if they do leak or if they don't seal properly or if there's something wrong with the coilover. In this case, I know this is a brand new coilover, so it's less than a year old. So it's not leaking from the top, which means the O-ring is good. A lot of the times also they leak from the bottom when it comes down to the threads over here as well because there's internal O-rings, it's not leaking. So it's passing the leak test, which means everything fits perfectly. I can reassemble everything. Uh, um, it's not dropping the pressure, of course, but I already know that it's not leaking. Um, I can reassemble everything back up and off we go. So uh, KW, sorry, <laughs> the Forge Motorsports um, coilovers are convertible. You can convert them for the Mark 7 GTI. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put a custom bag on it, a slimmer bag. Um, I got some airlift bags here as, as well, but we all know that the airlift bags are, uh, you know, yeah. So we're gonna put these away, these are my spares. And um, yeah, everything works good. So we're gonna put it back together, we're gonna put it up in the front, and uh, the GTI is pretty much, the struts are back, the rear's already inflated. I'm gonna be able to lay it out on the next vid. Bada beam, bada boom. Okay guys, so uh, this is how I routed the lines. Here are the bags. And uh, we're running a ladder line that goes around here. And then uh, just to conti and a continuation with the previous videos on how to run the lines. Obviously it goes underneath here and then uh, behind the shield. Loops around here. And then it goes into the ladder line really nice and clean. So it allows it to have a nice little loop for going up and down and movement. So there's definitely no issue. So if this helps you guys, um, perfect. So that's how we did the fronts and uh, took it for a test drive and driving it for a couple of days. No issues, obviously, but it's always good to remove it and double check on everything. There's also no rubs on the back, so we're good to go. So far, so good. So we'll continue on and uh, here we go. Okay, well wiring, uh, we're gonna run a main uh, wiring harness. Uh, we're basically gonna run it from the battery. Uh, right behind the battery over there, there's a, there's a, a, a grommet that goes uh, through the firewall, very easy. You can access it uh, close to the uh, clutch if you have a stick. I have an automatic, well, DSG <laughs> automatic. So it comes out where, um, Probably around here, I would say. Around there, as you guys can see. Right there. And then I'm gonna run it behind here, all the way to the back, so that'll give me a main sort of a su su supply wire um, for, the, uh, for the management. I'm also gonna feed the controller wire from the main harness, so I have the control wire nearby, so I think I'm gonna place the controller up here, actually. Um, or maybe in the center, I haven't decided yet. But uh, so far, so good. And uh, that's it for the wiring, really. Um, I took the, what is it? I took the uh, 12 volts from the, let's turn this off. Uh, took the 12 volts from the uh, cigarette lighter right here. I ran it through, I tapped it into the positive. I checked it, it is uh, remote on when you uh, turn on the ignition key, so it's very simple to sort of get it from here. You don't have to run it all the way from the fuse box. But I ran, uh, I ran a tap into it with a 3 amp fuse uh, in order to protect that circuit if I need to. But it's ACC uh, enabled, which is perfect for uh, to start up the uh, management. And I'm going to run it into here. I have all the lines sort of getting organized uh, right now. We're going to trim them, obviously. I'm going to build a little subframe up here. Uh, in order to support the new management, I think the management is going to stick about this much, which pretty much is going to uh, decapacitate my uh, my trunk setup. I mean, my trunk, so I won't really be able to carry crazy stuff through. But we'll see how it works out. I haven't got to that stage yet for now. 
But I guess so far for the that's it for the wiring. You need a remote wire. I'm gonna actually also get a ground here somewhere as well. So I have a nice uh, ground point. I gotta figure out something that's uh, not uh, not crazy, um, but out of the way, nice and clean. So I'll figure that one out. I'll try to use uh, maybe a location close to um, the factory location, so I don't have to drill anything crazy too. But I'm gonna obviously send it. So it's uh, to bare metal, bare metal to the chassis. I'm not going to use a self tapper. I never use self tappers when it comes to doing grounds is because it's pathetic. Those self tappers come loose and then there goes your ground. So kids, don't do that. I know there's a lot of people on the internet doing, um, you know, self tappers when it comes to doing grounds. Do not do that. Um, either do a, a, a nut cert, you know, use a nut cert, which, not, which is nice and firm and then screw a, a bolt into it so it's nice and firm. Or use a, a, a threaded tap um, drill bit so you create a thread and then that way when you have a threaded piece and you're able to thread in a bolt into it and when you thread in a bolt into it it's going to be a lot more secure um, than just doing a self tapper that can come loose at any time and there goes your grounds and then you're going to scratch your head while driving your car while your management doesn't work it's one of the common issues so we're going to continue on and uh, go step further and get it all set up all right so it's finally back i can't believe it this thing is finally laying on the floor it looks pretty fucking insane. It's bagged. I love it. Finally. I've been saying it for about a year that I'm going to bag it. And I finally did it. Forage Motorsports Coilovers and Squeaky Clean Air Conversion. Uh, kit specific for Forage Motorsports Coilovers. I love the coilovers. So I didn't really want to go and uh, change it up and just spend extra money. Yes, I know. Even though I run an uh, air suspension uh, brand. And uh, we do our own struts and our own air suspension. You know, I, I don't have to necessarily run my full struts, especially when I already spent the money on forged coilovers and I don't want to resell them. I love them. So uh, they ride very similarly to what we, uh, our, our suspension rides. Um, pretty much uh, both Forge and ourselves, they use Taiwan made dampers. So the quality of the actual um, suspension is good. Um, obviously, they don't do air suspension, but we do. So we just spiced it all up. And uh, now this thing is running uh, squeaky clean air bags. And uh, as you guys can see, it drops like a mofo and I, and I love it. So mission accomplished right now. It's uh, running static air. We're going to start working on the management. But so far, so good. I fucking love it.